Mm. You thought that the last hurdle for feminism to kind of make it okay to want to be objectified, that that somehow mm. or other we've made that a bad thing. You can't objectify me, but but if you are choosing it, it's mm-hmm. okay. You know, you really shouldn't be telling people what makes them feel empowered or degrade versus degraded. It's a little bit like, that's how I feel about striptease. Like with striptease, could someone call that degrading and the same person can call it or somebody different can call it empowering? Yeah. For sure, for sure. I've kind of always been fascinated with these two, the the way that uh, this one person can look at the same thing, whether it's a piece of art or porn or whatever it is, and one person can find power in it and one person can find it to be, you know anti-feminist and degrading so but the but I think you know we're living in a time where we don't get to judge each other's um uh definition of feminism and what it is to be a feminist anymore like sorry that's all out the window for some and some people still want to judge it and say like what you were saying someone calling you not feminist enough it's like I don't know I always felt like to be a feminist is to have to be able to have the power to do what you want and not have somebody tell you what else to do so I I you know, have always been fascinated by women in the erotic space that are also feminists, because, you know, that's what it means there. You're free to do what you want. You're doing it by your choice. You're making a living in a way that you enjoy, hopefully, or, you know, you've taken the power to decide to be a sex worker or a burlesque star or stripper or what, you know, porn star. I've just always been sort of like, that seems pretty, you know, pretty powerful to me. Dita, you are a goddess.